Yeah, Flagstaff's definitely a bit of a oasis um, from what even I thought Arizona was when I first uh, moved to the state back in 2002. I was down in Phoenix for a couple of years, that's where I started out. Um, so I moved to Flag in 2005 and uh, yeah, it's incredible. It's, uh, a lot of people don't, uh, don't realize that it's a true mountain town and we have you know, really decent winters with a lot of snow some years. We're in the largest contiguous ponderosa of uh, pine forest in the world, so we have uh, just uh, hundreds of miles of trails. And, um, you know, we have one mountain, but it's a really great mountain. There's a lot of trails surrounding it, and you have a bit of everything. You have your technical trails, you have your street trails, you have your long climbs, you have your runs through the Aspen. Um, it's really, uh, it's wonderland up here, for sure. Yeah, I came out here um, about a year and a half ago to visit Ian Torrance, and uh, he kind of showed me around, and I, I fell in love with it. It's uh, I grew up in a small town, and I've always wanted to get back into a small town, and Flagstaff's just that perfect, that perfect place. I'm from a small rural town in Virginia, and Flagstaff is actually much bigger from where I'm from. So for me, it was a step up. It was, Oh, there is a lot going on, but I also enjoyed the open space. Um, and I think it's great that you can just walk out your door within a few minutes. You can be in the woods and not really see anybody. It feels nice, you know, it has a real outdoor vibe. Like almost anyone you meet does something outside. Just a nice, quaint mountain town. The college here, too, so it's, uh, it's nice and nice and laid back. Uh, rarely see people wearing suits or anything like that. It's like t-shirt, jeans kind of place. And that kind of suits my style for sure. So we've got a huge community that excels in the ultra running world, um, but we also have several elite teams in town that are training to become Olympians. The running community has built since we've been here, and uh, there's there's always at any time of the day somebody you can run with. I mean, there's there's so many coaches here that have free time. That hey, Ian, let's go run at 2 p.m. Vargo, let's run at 5 p.m. Or you know, when Carr's not working, he's up for any adventure. And we go fishing together, and um, we we do a lot of ski mode during the winter. A lot of people think Arizona, and they think desert, hot, spiny, sandy. But uh, yeah, Northern Arizona is much higher in altitude, so we have, um, it was literally a land forged by fire. So uh, the San Francisco peaks are big volcano. It used to be a huge volcano, blew its top. So a lot of lava flows, and when lava flows, they form plateaus, flatter terrain. So there's a lot of flat running in Flagstaff, but we also have the San Francisco peaks that rise up to 12,000 feet from Flagstaff, which is at 7,000 feet. Uh, lots of trails, you know, trees, ponderosa pine, it's very much a mountain town. Yeah, so sky running is basically mountain running. It's you see a mountain and you run up it and if that goes straight up then you know, that's kind of what sky running is about. It's going, taking the steepest line, high altitude, um, going up and over a mountain, maybe through inclement weather. I selected Flagstaff uh, to be the finale, actually, of the uh, entire series, and uh, it's exactly the type of race that I'd expect. It's just going straight up the side of the mountain, straight down again, very steep, stunning views. You can even see the Grand Canyon from up there. For me personally, I'm drawn to the toughest races that are out there, the hardest races, and if I can create something and share that with a runner that maybe doesn't know that this kind of thing even exists, and they can push beyond their limits, and they can find some personal satisfaction out of it, that's worth it for me, and that's why I'm doing this. That's, that's why I'm out here, and I'm just sharing what I love, which is doing tough races.
hours, oh, minutes, hours, seconds. Minutes. So just, you know, to keep track. Yeah. Okay. okay. The most important turn of the day is after the first aid station, mile five. So don't go that Well, we're really fortunate. We live just about a quarter mile from Buffalo Park, which is kind of the gateway to these, these trails and, and the San Francisco peaks. Um, and from there, it's really a network um, spider web of trails that really surround this entire mountain range. So you got snowball ski resorts, snowball ski area, and that's just a whole other world of, of uh, it's a whole other playground. Um, in terms of altitude training, we start those runs at 9,000 feet. I was amazed by the diversity of Flagstaff. Like it's, you know, we went from the low desert at mile eight or whatever, all the way to the summit. Yeah, it was just really cool to be back among the aspen trees, the perfect turning right now. And to have such a neat mix of like trail and off-trail stuff, it was nice for us. Really cool course. probably 20 different trails from my house and I found three new trails like in one run, like that's insane. I think for this race, he did a really good job of showcasing some of the best of like variety of trees that we have. I think the best way to summarize it for me is I feel comfortable. Um, probably the most comfortable I've felt since my childhood. Uh, it's a real relaxed, um, laid back, friendly vibe. And uh, yeah, there, you meet people up here that have stories that just blow your minds. And, and I, love, uh, I love that aspect of it. Um, great friendships, uh, obviously a great place to explore, not just like stuff, but the surrounding area. Got the Colorado River just two hours away. Great fly fishing up there, so yeah, I feel I feel comfortable and happy here. And, uh, it's not something I was expecting. It, it still kind of surprises me that you know we bought a house last year. You know this is home now, and uh, it's still Arizona. And, uh, I feel very fortunate to have found this, this little pocket of uh, pocket of goodness uh, um, here in Flagstaff.